Hi, Bob Panico here. Today we're going to demonstrate a very common problem seen with shoulder patients. Okay, a lot of people try to get full shoulder arm elevation and they don't get all the way up. And all of a sudden we start to see the hike. Very, very common in shoulder patients. One of the tests to see what's going on for this is that whether or not the scapula is moving early. The scapula should not move until the arm hits approximately 90 to 100 degrees. The scapula has about 30 to 40 degrees of posterior tilt to allow for the arm to come all the way up. And if the scapula rotates too soon, hike the shoulder for me, you're not going to get that full posterior tilt in the shoulder, okay? Today I'm going to demonstrate a technique to loosen that up and to try and restore it. Most of the time what's occurring if the scapula is moving too soon is that posteriorly where the scapula and the humeral head meet are bound down causing the scapula and the humerus to rotate as a single unit with no separation. So what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate on the UE Ranger immobilization technique to alleviate that problem. Okay. So we have our patient today who is actually a physical therapist, Tiffany, working at Sailor Physical Therapy in Jupiter, Florida, and who I'd like to express my thanks for letting me use their facilities for today. All right? um, I have her on the new UE Ranger in an arm neutral position. All right? And what we're going to do is we're going to palpate this area posteriorly and you know, generally you're going to find some tightness. And I would suggest that you compare your left side to your right side and identify the areas where you find the tightness because you generally will if the shoulder is hiking and the scapula is moving early. So the other purpose of the UE Ranger is that I'm not supporting her arm and her arm is relaxed I need the muscles to be relaxed to get a good mobilization. And I'll generally start by keeping my right hand up underneath her arm, adding a little bit of distraction, but I'm trying to move her forward. And then the heel of my left hand is on the border of the scapula, and I'm pulling away with my right hand, pulling towards myself with my right hand, and away with my left hand trying to separate this area in here. And I'll ask the patient to initiate a movement coming from here. We go ahead and leave it your elbow. Trying to give it some additional stretch. The whole purpose of this is to separate this area where the scapula and the humerus are meeting. Good. Sort of a variation of Kibler's scapula assist movement. What we're doing is we're actually assisting scapular rotation. I'm coming in from the medial border with the palm of my hand. My left arm is holding her humerus and pulling up with my left arm and then pushing back into the inferior border with her scapula. Patients that shoulder hike are generally going to use their upper trap and their levator scapula to assist in getting upper arm elevation. And when you do that, the serratus, which is one of the primary upward rotators of the scapula, becomes very, very quiet. And following the mobilization technique that we just 
demonstrated, we want to try and activate the serratus by doing unweighted landmine presses. Drive the elbow into the wall and reach up. Okay, and I want your thumb up when you do it. Push up, there you go. And drive with your elbow. And you're gonna try and get normal scapular movement by doing that. So we've mobilized the problem. And now what we're trying to do is we're trying to activate the muscle that we want to start coming back into play. Push, there we go. And 